Hi guys, I'm Seema and today we are going to study about percentage, a very important topic from quant section. I'll be making many more useful videos on, on topics related to quant, reasoning, English for phase 1 of RBI and SEBI. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and for regular updates hit the bell icon. Before getting started with the questions, let us quickly revise some basic concepts. Firstly, for finding the x percentage of y, we multiply y by x and then divide it by 100. Suppose you have to find 20% of 1000, then 1000 multiplied by 20 by 100, which is 200, it is the 20% 20 of 1000. And similarly, when you have to find that x is what percent of y, then suppose you have to find out that 200 is what percent of 1000. Then you divide 200 by 1000 and multiply it by 100. You get 20%. To convert percentage into fraction, we divide it by 100 or multiply the fraction by 100 to get percentage. One more important thing. If in a question you are given that price of something or quantity of something is increased by some percentage. Let's say there's a TV whose price is 100 rupees and now the price of this TV is increased by 40%. So the new price would be 100 into 1.4 because let's say initially if this was 1 when we say unit we say the initial price or the price which was actually there we just assume it to be a unit then it has been increased by 40 percent which makes it 0.4 1.4 or if we say that there has been an increase of 100 percent then this is 1 and this would become 2 2 into 100 then the price would be 200 i hope you get the idea Moving forward towards the question. Question 1. A business house has three companies A, B and C and one trust D. Each company contributes 5% of its own revenue calculated after excluding loans taken from the group company to the trust. A lent B 10% of B's revenue, twice as much as money as C's revenue and C had taken no loan from A or B and gave the trust 10,000 rupees. How much approximately did the B contribute to the trust? There are three companies A, B, C and a trust D. As per the question, C has contributed rupees 10,000 to the trust. And in the question, it is given that each company contributes 5% of its own revenue to the trust. So, 10,000 is 5% of C's revenue. So, here we get that revenue of C is 2 lakhs. And we get this from here. X into 5 divided by 100 should be equal to 10,000, which gives us X is equal to 2 lakhs. And in the question, it has been given that B's revenue is uh, twice as that of C. So the revenue of B is 4 lakhs. A lent B 10% of B's revenue. So 10% of B's revenue, 10% of 4 lakh is the amount which has been lent by A to B. 10% of 4 lakh is 40,000 rupees. And as per the question, we have to calculate the amount of contribution to the trust after excluding the amount of loan from the revenue. So revenue minus loan is 4 lakh minus 40,000 which is 3 lakh 60,000 rupees. This is the revenue of B after excluding the loan taken from A. Now B will contribute 5% of the revenue to the trust D. So 5% of 3 lakh 60,000 would be 18,000 rupees. Answer is B, 18,000 rupees. Question 2. In a UG and PG college with total strength of 1000, 26% of the students are girls. There are 520 PGs and 38 more male UGs than female UGs. What percent of males are UGs? First of all, in such questions, try to make a table for the given data so as to see the things clearly. So here we have been given that there are 1000 students. 26% of the students are girls. So we can say that 260 are total girls. This is total. And the remaining that are 740 are boys. Total is 1000. Now we'll talk about PG students. We have been given in the question that the total number of PG students is 520. To calculate the number of UGs, let the number of female UGs be X. Then as per the question, we have here X plus X plus 38 is equals to 480. As we know, after subtracting 520 minus 1000, 520 is the total number of PGs. We know that the total number of UGs in the college is 480. 
So here we get x is equals to 221. X is the number of female UGs in the college. So here we say 221, 221, and x plus 38 is 259. So here the male UGs are 259. After subtracting the number of UGs from the total number of students, we get the respective number of male and female PGs. So here 260 minus 221 is 39. There are 39 female PGs, and here 740 minus 259 is 481 481 now the question asks about what percent of males are ugs so 259 males are there in the ugs and there are total 740 males in the college percentage of males who are ugs is 259 divided by 740 200 which gives us 35% answer is d and whenever you are given a lot of data in questions just don't forget to make such tables as they simplify the question and make it easier for you to observe the data which has been given or which is hidden question 3 shushmita sells her good 25% cheaper than aishwarya and 25% dearer than vipasha how much percentage is vipasha's goods cheaper than the aishwarya's the word dearer means costlier let us assume that the sp of aishwarya be 100 rupees then as per the question the sp of shushmita would be 75 rupees as she sells her goods 25% cheaper than aishwarya it is said that uh, the sp of shushmita is 25% dearer than vipasha vipasha's sp into 1.25 times is equals to shushmita's sp let us assume that sp of vipasha is x x multiplied by 1.25 times is equals to 75 as we have assumed it to be 75 after assuming the aishwarya cp to be sp to be 100 so here we get x is equals to 60 so it comes out that vipasha sells her goods the price of 60 rupees okay now the question asks about how much percentage vipasha's goods are cheaper than the aishwarya's so the question is asking for the difference between these two prices so the difference is 100 minus 60 which is 40 rupees and 40 rupees is 40% of 100 rupees because the question has asked the percent Percentage. So here the answer is D, hundred rupees. Pasha sells her goods forty percent cheaper than Aishwarya. Moving forward to the next question. Question four. The height of a triangle is increased by forty percent. What can be the maximum percentage increase in the length of base so that the increase in area is restricted to a maximum of sixty percent? You must be knowing that area of triangle is half base into height. This is the area of a triangle. Now let us assume that height is. H and the base is B. So the area of this triangle should look like half B H base into height. This should be the area of this triangle. Now, as per the question, the height has been increased by forty percent. So the new height becomes one point four times the earlier height. And let's assume that the increment in base is X. X times B, which is base, multiplied by half. This is the new area, and as given in the question, the maximum increase in the new area could be of sixty percent. So sixty percent means one point six times of the earlier area, one point six times of the initial area B H. Now to simplify the equation, we'll cancel out the variables. So half H P. Here we get X is equals to one point six divided by. 1.4, which comes out to be 1.1428. So the base becomes 1.1428 times. So as I have told you earlier, that this is the increment. Like initially, the base to find the increment, what we'll do is 1 1.1428. One four two eight B minus B is equals to point one four two eight B. And to find the percentage increase, we will simply find the percentage, which is point one four two eight two eight B upon B multiplied by hundred, which comes out to be fourteen point two eight percent. So this is the maximum increment that could be done in the base, so as to restrict the area to an increment of sixty percent. So the answer is C fourteen point two. Eight percent. Question five. Ramesh got two hundred and ten marks, which was one twenty seven three by eleven. This is one twenty seven three by eleven percent more than the first division cut off marks. If Somesh got two thirty one marks, how much more than the first division cut off were his marks? Okay, first of all, we see that this one twenty seven three by eleven percent can be written as. Fourteen hundred by eleven percent. Now we will convert this term of percentage 
इन टू फ्रैक्शन बाई डिवाइडिंग इट बाई हंड्रेड तो फोर्टीन हंड्रेड बाई इलेवन डिवाइडेड बाई हंड्रेड इज फोर्टीन बाई इलेवन सो द क्वेश्चन से इज दैट वट एवर मार्क्स रमेश गॉट इट वॉज फोर्टीन बाई इलेवन टाइम्स ऑफ फर्स्ट डिविजन कट ऑफ मार्क्स लेट दी फर्स्ट डिविजन कट ऑफ मार्क्स बी एक्स देन एज पर द क्वेश्चन फोर्टीन बाई इलेवन टाइम्स ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन मार्क्स फोर्टीन बाई इलेवन टाइम्स ऑफ दी फर्स्ट डिविजन कट ऑफ मार्क्स इज टू हंड्रेड एंड टेन सो हियर वी गेट एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्सटी फाइव मार्क्स सो द फर्स्ट डिविजन कट ऑफ मार्क्स आर वन सिक्सटी फाइव मार्क्स नाउ सोमेश कॉर टू थर्टी वन मार्क्स सो द डिफरेंस इज टू थर्टी वन माइनस वन सिक्सटी फाइव विच इज सिक्सटी सिक्स मार्क्स How much more than the first division cut off marks were his marks? So to find the percentage, as we have already found the difference, write the difference, then divide it by one sixty five. First division cut off marks and multiply it by hundred, and we get forty percent marks. So this forty percent is the answer. So answer is B. Hope you have understood the concepts of percentage and found the video beneficial for your preparation. And if you have any queries regarding any of the questions, do let us know in the comment section below. and don't forget to like share and subscribe